All right, so here we are looking at a blue barren rhododendron. And I just planted that in the ground. It's in a raised, raised garden bed. And down here we have a uh, princess uh, rhododendron. And so I got them planted there in a raised bed. Now, if you're watching this, it's because the title is, you know, what should you plant it in? And so I thought I would share with you the recipe that I used. Um, it's from quite a bit of research. You know, they, these plants like their, uh, uh, an ericaceae plant, so they like really acidic, well-draining soil, kind of like a blueberry. It's actually in the same family. Um, so for the soil preparation, you're gonna want it to be 50% peat moss, and then the other 50% half sand and uh, half soil, which I'll actually show you the exact specifics. So that's the uh, the soil, the peat moss, and the sand, which this is actually pool filter sand, which is pretty expensive, but uh, you know, it's pure quartz gives, uh, I Googled it and it's supposed to give uh, really sharp, fast drainage, fast drainage there. So the, and like, that's what rhododendrons really like. So, um, and then you, you might want to pick up some garden sulfur. Um, you don't mix this in, don't mix any of this into the soil. You just sprinkle a small, small amount on later so like i'm actually going to wait a couple weeks and see how the rotors are doing if they seem like they want it to be more acidic i'll add a little more sulfur just sprinkling it into the top of the soil and watering it in and yeah i'll keep you posted on on how that uh that recipe does it should it should do good and happy gardening <laughs> down 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 down